Welcome to the American Women's Basketball Championship nightfall here in Fort Worth, Texas, as it's been a full day of basketball, and we conclude here with a 14-6 matchup, the Tulane Green Wave taking on the Charlotte 49ers. Kicking it out, they swing it around. Under three to go on the shot clock. Rainey slashing through the lane and finishing. Over the years, this is one of the handful of times where she hasn't been on the win side, winning side of things. The green wave out of New Orleans, Louisiana, and hot off the hand of Marta Golich. Kyron Whittington, who we mentioned, had that big 28-point game, has yet to score. All other starters have scored. And again, knocking down threes. How many did she knock down yesterday? She was four for eight from three yesterday. Golich, open look for three, knocks it down. Marta Golich, we talked about how awesome she is from downtown. In front of the pass, Whittington with the steal, back the other way, zooms Ooh. it down. <laughs> what a dish and a dime to Amira Mabry. I just love the confidence and the pace that Whittington plays with. That was a dime if I ever saw one. <laughs> Back the other way. And the three-pointer for Deja Lawrence. Yeah, she said it's about that time. She needs to start heating up. And it's, <laughs> it's you know, they're going back and forth at it. It's going to be a Whittington Lawrence. I would love to see Charlotte get the ball back into Lawrence's hands and see what she does yeah. with it. And good hustle there from Grattini. Transfer Pratt over to Mabry. Rolls in! Amira Mabry has found some magic here. And Imani Smith coming up with the rebound. Up ahead to Mia Davis for three! She got it! Tulane who has controlled it thus far. Wow, what a great find from Whittington to Mabry. Once again, the law offices of Whittington and Mabry are open. She got it again. She called it. She thought it may have been a little bit short, yeah. <laughs> but it rolls around. That's just a type of night. Over to Whittington. A wide open look from three, and she drills it. Whittington shoots it at 35%. It's been that kind of season for her because she's such a tremendous player, but I love the fact and respect so much that she's gotten better at it. As you see, Peral find Golich behind the defense. Again, another layup behind the Charlotte defense for Tulane. It's just not been her night from the floor. The three rolls around. And that's what you need, Deja Lawrence. We'll keep our eye on if Tulane were to advance. This is how they would hold up conditioning wise as Imani Smith knocking. Whittington on the take. It just goes downhill and it almost looked like nobody wanted to touch him. No reason to rush and in that action over there on that strong side, they've had so much success all game as Corral gets the and one. Five plus minutes remaining, but your coach Stockton, if you have the opportunity to advance, what do you need to clean up? As JC Busick knocks down her first shot of the game. Keanu Rimbert is able to finish with that right hand. And that's gonna do it right there as Tulane with two wins in the American Championship. They're moving on to the quarterfinals tomorrow to face off against the three seed Temple Owls. Tulane Green Wave will stay alive and Amira Mabry earned the right to put that sticker there tonight. Yeah, you just love to see the celebration with the type of season they had.